We have in the past come in and done trenches in here and really looked at the distribution of the roots in the profile. And basically most of these roots are just up in the top because in the past when they were planted, there was that compaction layer at the plow pan. And so the roots went down to that and then went sideways. If you go out into the native bush, most of these trees don't grow that way. The roots are going much deeper. Uh, unless Mother Nature has compacted the soil sometime in the past, and then you can see the same sidewards motion, but it's not the way these trees grow as surface rooted. They really want to go deep if they possibly can. So you have your little penetrometer you that. My little penetrometer? This is uh, not quite the. We have got a, a normal penetrometer, but I cut this with me all the time. I was involved in developing a thing called a soil health card a number of years ago in conjunction with the Department of Agriculture and some local growers. The idea of that was to give um, growers a tool to sort of take the focus away just from the chemical side of their soil management, to look at the biology, to look at the soil structure, to look at the earthworms. Um, and part of it is developing sort of farmer-friendly, easy-to-use tools. And so this was our version of a penetrometer. It's a bit of high tensile fencing wire. I'm involved with horses as well. The best thing you can do with high tensile wire, I reckon, is to, to make something like this out of it. <laughs> Terrible stuff in fences, but anyway. Um, Let's so go in there and take a look. We start with a penetrometer and we find that that's pretty good in there because they don't drive any machinery on this bit down here. And you see that even though it's dry, that's, that's pretty good penetration wise. Not bad. We've got some roots in there as well as some fungal strands, so you got to be able to differentiate the two. But when you start looking at where the fine roots of these trees actually hang out, it's right up here where we've got good fungal foods and a lot of good fungi in there as well. That's just all fungi, that one. Yep, all fungi holding that, those strands together. Most of that's fungus. Some root in there probably. But you, you know, can you see this with your eyeballs? There, we've got a really nice fungal strand holding that all together. Just doing that with a penetrometer, that's quite good. Um, you know, people are welcome to ha have a go in it. I, um, it's a feel type thing, and you, you feel a compaction layer. Um, in most orchards, I start there, it's soft there because the machinery don't go there. Right. As you come out here, it gets harder and harder because as the trees get older, it tends to crack machines in pretty well the same area.